Uh, Jade is here with us today. So thank you everyone again and welcome. This is Online Trader Central. My name is Kevin. Happy to serve as your Huckcom and Online Trader Central Account Manager. And again, we'll be starting now in three minutes. This is Kevin. We, it's 427. We start in three minutes. Kevin, 427 starting in three minutes. Thank you and welcome everyone. Quick sound check here again. <clears throat> Is everything good with the sound? Karen, same. Slide up. It's moving. Okay, good. We'll be right back. Thank you. Excuse me. Hello everyone and welcome. And as you know, that's the sound of the trumpet. That means it's time to begin. Please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter for this Monday presentation with the stockswish.com, the host, the lead trader and owner at the stockswish.com. Thank you so much, Kevin and Karen. Thank you, Online Trader Central, for having me today. Welcome. Welcome. My name is Melissa Armo and I own a company called the Stock Swoosh LLC. Thank you so much for coming everyone today. Today I'm going to talk about the strategy that I personally trade, it's gaps. And the topic for today's lecture is make $100,000 a year trading gaps with a 70% win ratio system. And I'm going to talk in more detail about that a little bit later today. For those of you that know me already, you'll know that I am specifically a gap trader. That's the only strategy that I trade. For those of you that don't know me, I have been trading since the end of 2008. It is almost 2015. It's really hard to believe. Uh, but I've been trading for a small amount of time. If you look at the number of years most people have traded, 
but I've been very, very focused on only one thing in that time. So I've gotten very good at it. And I have a method that I trade and, and teach to people as well. And I'm going to talk about that throughout the lecture here today. If you'd like more information after today's lecture, you can email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. You can also get me anywhere at any one of these places on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. You can like me. I also have a group on LinkedIn, Pinterest, and you can add me to your Skype as well. So this is me. I own a company called The Stock Swoosh LLC. It's, it's me. I trade every day in a live trading room, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I look for the same strategy every day. And I, like I said, I trade full time. So I think that one of the main things when you're looking to trade full time is you have to find something that sets up often in the market. If you're doing a strategy that doesn't set up that much, it's hard for you to rely on it for consistent income week after week or month after month in the market. The one nice thing I like about gaps is that there's gaps in the market every day. Now, that doesn't mean every day there's a quality gap. Uh, I'll show you what I mean in a little bit here. So, and also if you have questions, you can just type them in the room down in here. I can see everyone's questions. There, I just said hi. You can write them in the room and I'll answer them as you go along. Trading really is about cash flow if you're looking to day trade. If you're looking to day trade, you want to have money coming in on a regular basis. If, you're, if you are an investor, which is different from a trader, okay, you don't need money coming in on a regular basis. Now, an investor is someone that might want to take a position in a stock and be in it for months, years. They don't need cash flow, okay, immediate cash flow. When I think of trading, what I do, what I teach people to do, it's about cash flow, okay? And swing trading is something that sets up and you're in and out within a couple of days. That is something that can be cash flow too, but really the fastest cash flow is day trading. You're taking the train and you're getting out and you're flat every day by four o'clock Eastern time when the market closes or way before then, and you have the money in your trading account that day. Essentially, really, you could take it out the following day. I mean, I've done that. but you know, it's really about the idea that you have it right there for yourself, okay? Now, you know, I, I'm not saying I take it out every day, but you could get on a program where you pay yourself once a week or you pay yourself every two weeks. Some people uh, are in types of accounts where they pay themselves once a month, but the idea is cash flow. And even monthly is still cash flow. When I think of trains or investments, for longer term, I think of things that are months and years out. So you, you really, you're not paying yourself because you're in the trading, you're waiting for it to get to a larger target. It's an investment. That's not really what trading is. That's not what you are doing if you are a trader. Okay. So day trading the market for a living is about cash flow. You are taking the trade in the morning or whenever, whatever time you're taking in the day and you're exiting it before four o'clock Eastern time and the money is there and you know exactly how much money you made. Or if you took a loss in the day, you know exactly how much money you lost in the day. You know exactly where you're at. Now, what kind of income can you make as a day trader? The amount of money you can make trading varies. I get this question a lot, but the fact is it just varies. It is dependent on how much you risk, what stock you trade. I trade the U.S. stock market. And how you money manage the position that you take. But one of the most important factors is how much income you can make from the market depends on what strategy you use to make the money you want to make. So there's, other, there's a lot of things you can be looking at, okay? It's depending on how much you risk, what stock you trade, and how do you money management. Yes, that's true. Those are all pieces that have to do with how much income you're making. But one of the most important factors in how much income you're going to make as a trader is the strategy that you're doing. For example, you might be trading now but losing, and it is all because you have a bad strategy. Even if you have good money management, even if you're a disciplined person, even if you're a quote-unquote a conservative person, you don't take that much size, but maybe you're losing, and you, you try to do everything you write. You manage trades the best you can. You're very conservative with your risk. You don't risk a lot, but, you, but you're losing, and it might not be anything to do with your discipline but the strategy itself, Okay. So the strategy and what you choose to trade each day makes or breaks your profitability as a trader. It, it absolutely does. One of the reasons I'm a successful trader, one of the reasons I have a successful business and I've only had the business for two years. December 1st will be two years. It'll be a two-year anniversary that I've had the stock switch. And that is a very short 
uh, amount of time for a business to be successful. Most businesses that start out take three to five years to be successful. My business was successful immediately because I am a one-of-a-kind person. I'm a great trader and I have a good system. Okay, so it's about the strategy. It's about the strategy that we're going to talk about today. It's about gaps. Now, where to start? Many traders have no idea how to make money in the market. The key is strategy focus, getting the right pick, and trading during the right time of day, during the right time of day. And I trade in the morning. Someone from Australia, I don't know if the gentleman's here uh, this afternoon, he is in Australia who's asking me about how long do you have to be in these things? You really, the trains are in the first hour of the day. And they may be done in the first five minutes, first 10 minutes, first 15 minutes. Really, ideally, you're looking to trade between 9.30 and 10 to take the trades Eastern time. One other key ingredient to being successful is having a good mentor, which is me if you learn from me. And following that mentor, which again is me, which means you're following me in the trading room, listening to what I say, learning from me, listening to what I'm telling you about the stock. Not only can having a trading strategy that has an edge make a big difference in your trading, but also following a trader who has an edge and learning from that trader day by day and month by month. A lot of people say to me, well, how long does it take for me to make X, Y, Z? I don't know. Everybody's different. I will say one thing. Everyone that comes to me, even if they've been trading for 20 years plus, uh, or a very long time, learns something from me about gaps because I'm very specific to doing this. So even if you tell me, well, I know how to trade the stock market, that's, that has nothing to do with what I'm doing. I'm doing gaps, okay? And they're very different in the stock market from trading regular stocks or trend trading regular stocks. Very, very different. This is a specialty. This is what gives me an edge in the market to do this. And you, if you learn how to do it, it's like a specialty thing. It's like if you go, you're going to a restaurant and you're ordering something. One time I went to a restaurant in New York and I wanted to get the souffle. You had to order the souffle for dessert before you even ordered your main course. It was really neat. Anyways, because it took that long for them to make the souffle. And they had you had to special order it. Before you, before you even ordered your main course, when you sat down, you had to order the souffle if you wanted it. Okay? This is like a specialty thing, trading gaps in the market. And it can make a world of difference for you to follow a trader who makes money consistently versus following one who does not or trying to do it alone. Okay, trying to do it alone is very hard. Uh, I used to do that. I, I, that was me. It's very hard and, and uh, it takes a long time. So it's better if you can learn from someone, if you can find someone that's a good trader. And I understand there's a lot of people out there. You have to use your intuition uh, yourself to know whether you're listening to something that I'm saying to you today or any one of my videos, if you watch my YouTube videos, that resonates with you, that makes sense if you want to learn from me. Now let's talk about the power of the gap. I clipped this chart on Apple and Apple was in a transitionary period a long while back, about a year and a half, two years ago. Now Apple is making a beautiful run. This is a bullish chart, but I want to show you here the power of this strategy that I'm, that I do. Now this is a bullish chart. I prefer to do shorts, but you can do longs when gaps. Apple is a long, okay? Apple had a bullish gap here. Now, I want to go back to this day. This is in the middle of October. This isn't recent. This is like a month, couple weeks ago. Apple closed here approximately at $100, snug as a bug in a rug, uh, underneath all these moving averages, okay, under the 50, under the 20, right at it, and closed here. This is at night at 4 o'clock Eastern time. A gap is when something opens a different price the next day where it closes. Market closes at 4 o'clock Eastern time. It opened the next morning up here. Okay, approximately 103 something. Now, on the live day, this gap went red. It, you could not have bought this gap on the day as a day trader to actually buy and make money going long. But Apple was a long, it is a long, and it was a good gap that actually knighted the move on Apple that continued it out here to make new highs since the price has changed. This chart's a little skewed because it used to be worth, you know, six, seven hundred dollars. But if you go back and look at the chart at Apple, the chart is intact except for the price differentiation. But this gap rallied this and continued up. And this is making a nice leg and a nice move up. And this has potential to re reach up over 120 here before the end of the calendar year in Apple. So this is all the power of this one move that happened here. And the move happened overnight. So you are not doing this in the post to pre-market. You are waiting until the morning, until 9.30 to see what to do with this. And Apple's a great example. So you would have made a nice swing trade in here. Uh, CCC is asking a question. 
I don't do futures. A lot of people have been asking me about futures. You're not the first person. Whether or not my system can be used for futures. I do know that people are using my system for day trading, swing trading, and long-term investing and options. I have never done anything with futures. You would have to look at what I'm doing or learn from me and see if you can apply it for futures. I've also had people ask me recently about other markets in other countries. That again is something people have asked me before and that's something that, that so, someone's going to do it. CCC, someone's going to do it. In all the time I've had these questions, you're not the first, someone is going to do it at some point. Whether or not they come back to me and tell me they did it or not, I don't know. Someone might be doing it already and not have told me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know. In the last two years of the people I've taught, someone might be trading futures before I taught them and have, hasn't told me. You know, I don't, I don't talk to everybody. I teach every day. So anything's possible. Okay. It has to be able to be discernible though. CCC is asking this question about futures in the gap. Okay. So if it can be applied for gaps, then the answer is yes. Like someone had asked me about the Forex. There's only one gap that happens in the Forex market because of the fact that it's a 24 hour market, except for that one period on the weekend. So there, it would only be something you could do on that one uh, time frame once a week. Okay. But here's an example of the power of the gap. Now, what is a gap? I just said, but let's review for people that don't know. A stock gap when the opening price today is different than the closing price of yesterday. Almost every stock are ETF gaps every day. ETFs gap, the QQQs gap, the SPY, those are uh, ETFs of the market. They gap every day. So in order to determine what a gaps are playable, you need a method to determine how to find what stock or ETF to trade in and what direction. Not all gaps are playable for profit. This is very important to note. Okay, we're talking about gaps today, but not every gap is playable. What does that mean? That means that you can tell the direction that's going to go on the live day before the open, and you can get a good setup in it, and it goes to a target for profit. That's what I mean by playable. When I say a stock gap is playable, that means I can determine exactly what that stock is going to do before it even starts to trade. I can determine that in the post and pre-market. I can determine where it's going to go for the target and whether or not it's going to have profitable trades in it with quality setups. I can tell all that with my system before 930. So is every gap playable? According to what I just defined, the answer is no. All right. But the gaps that are playable are very powerful for profit. You only need one. One quality trade a day pays you. You really only need three or four a week, actually. Every once in a while, you'll get a tr one trade that's so great it makes your whole week as well. Now, how do you determine which is which of the good ones, the ones that are playable and the ones that aren't? Well, there are different, uh, are there different types of gaps. People ask me this all the time. I had someone in the trading room the other week on a trial, and he was asking me, we were talking about the market. This is a chart of the QQQs. And he was saying that this gap here was something that he determined, determined was going to do a reversal in the market. And I said, no, it's not actually. Now, there are a lot of things out there about gaps. Like I termed my rating system, which we're going to talk about, I made it a name. I said, this is called a golden gap rating system. That's what I named my system. And the reason I came up with that name is because it's like finding gold in the market because the gaps that work are so powerful. But there are many names of gaps out there that other people, okay, have named things for different reasons. They just came up with a name and they called it. All right. Now, one of the names that people have given this type of look here is something that they name and say it's a reversal or something that's called novice. When something's running in one direction, up or down, hard in one direction, or in the other direction, it could be going down. People look for it then to gap in the same direction it's been going and reverse. But that is not something that's playable, okay? Because if it is a quality gap, what I consider a quality playable gap, it will not reverse. That is the danger of doing reversals in gaps. This gap was not as short. It is not as short. This gap is still holding in the QQQs in the market. This is actually a place to go long for a swing trade in the QQQs. This gap is holding and the market's higher. If we have time today, we will talk about the market because I know this has been very challenging for people in the last two weeks specifically, okay? But the fact is when people ask me of the different types of gaps, not in my mind. There are different types of gaps that people define 
but they're not playable. Therefore, they don't have any weightiness to them. That should be something that you focus on or follow or do or take a trade in because there's a high chance you would lose in a gap that is something like this where people are telling you to short because it's not a short, it's actually a long. Now, why trade gaps? You, the reason to trade gaps is because they're made by institutional money, like banks, like hedge funds, people that have a lot of money and are looking to make more. Okay, that's, that's really where banks are at. And hedge funds too, they have a lot and they wanna make more. And they say, well, how can we take the amount of money that we have and multiply that? Well, trading is a great a way to do that, okay? Putting money in stocks in the market. Now, why are gaps unique? It's the only the day trading strategy in the market that sets up in the market daily, has follow through most days, and is directed by power and money, has a lot of momentum for individual traders to profit, and they're easy to find and read if you know how. So the fact is gaps are very unique because they happen every day, and they're really easy to find, and they're easy to read if you know how. The thing is that many people do not know how to trade or read gaps correctly, but I developed a method to do so that is very specific, as I said earlier, and gaps are unique because they're the only strategy to play for day traders in the market that works consistently for profit. As far as I'm concerned, and this is, I'm doing this now, like I said, for six years, there actually is no other strategy that I don't think a day trader can profitably play as an equities trader. Everything else is 250-50. It's 250-50, it's two back and forth. And I know because at the beginning I tried everything, okay? I tried everything. And even gaps, even the gaps that I was playing at the beginning I realized were uh, was something that I had to find and figure out much, much more detail than, than I realized when I started doing it. The day traders, you know, so many people that day trade, but you really have to get the entry right when you day trade because you're using a fixed amount of money that you're risking. If you don't get the entry right, even if you get the direction right for the trade, it's going to be hard for you to make any, any decent money or to pay yourself. So not only do you have to find the right pick, you have to get the entry right. And the one nice thing about highly rated, qualified, playable gaps is that they give entries that are easy to spot, easy to read, if you know how to read them or what to look for. But you have to know what direction you're trying to look to take the trade before it even sets up. you got to know if something's a long or a short, and you have to be watching that specific symbol. Again, why do gaps work? I said earlier, because they're made by power money, institutional money in the market. That's why they work. They work because power money might buy a stock and create a gap up, or sell or short a stock and create a gap down. And that, that's what makes the differentiation in price from the close of business at 4 o'clock Eastern time to the 9.30 and the next day when the market opens. Now, why do some gaps not work? This was a gap here. A stock actually gap. This was a Z. This is the symbol here at Z. In the morning, okay, this is one day last week, in the morning, the Z, or no, it was two weeks ago. In the morning, the Z actually was gapping way down here. Now, it opened up here. It actually opened, it ended up opening as a neutral. But it did gap in the morning. It was trading roughly around this area under $100 in the very early pre-market. I didn't bother with this. I didn't do this. I did not short it. I didn't buy it. It really was not a quality gap. And a lot of people say, well, you know, it rallied here. Could you have bought it? No. This really wasn't a good buy. You wouldn't have done anything with this on the day. There wasn't anything in there that you could have discerned that this stock symbol Z would do in the day prior to the open. The idea is to be watching a stock and have calculated prior to the opening of the day to determine what to do. That's very early, but it's actually what gives you the precise entry to get in a trade very quickly, to get out very quickly, and I'd say most of the stocks that move in the market make about 80% of their move in the first hour of the day. So if you're waiting until after 10 o'clock or looking for an intraday trend, you're probably getting less than 50% of the move in many days, less than 35% of the move of the stock on the day, unless you have the market with you and it's power trending all day up or down. And that's very rare. On many days, the market does not have any power trend-like activity. Okay. So in, again, in order to be consistent, you have to figure out what something's going to do and have it all situated way before the open so you can take the entry in the trade quickly so that you can get the momentum because that's how you make money on a stock, momentum. 
How do you know which gaps to trade? This is one in here that did work. That was a nice gap. It's www. We're going to go over this one today. Uh, this one was on that same day as Z. This was a top watch in here that worked. And this was a good gap that was a short. Okay, It worked down. The red candlestick here is depicting the fact that it's selling on the day and shorting. And we're going to go over this. And how do you know which way to trade a gap? Many people ask me this. Again, you are going to use my system to qualify it if you want to learn how. If you don't know my system to qualify it, it will be very challenging for you to determine which way to trade a gap. Why? Because as I just stated earlier when I was showing you this chart of the market back here, okay, many days something will look like it's going to do something and not play out right if it's gapping. And if you don't have a specific strategic reason for why you're doing this to look at all the details, you're, you're often going to get it not right. You will often get it wrong. And quite frankly, 50-50 isn't, just doesn't cut it for the profitability in trading. And one of the reasons is that because trading, uh, you have to pay commissions to the broker, whoever you're trading with. You have to pay platform fees. Most people play that, charge uh, platform fees at the brokers. And you have other costs involved. Okay, so you really have to have better than 50-50 odds to be profitable. Now, how do you find the best gaps each day to trade? As I've been stating earlier, I created a system which defines specific details I'm looking for on the daily chart of each stock in the morning before 9.30 in the stock that is gapping, and I go through and rate the gap and have a point system that determines if it's good or not, if it's going to be playable. And I tally them all up. I have 26 things I look at. And if I get 20 or more, I watch it to trade. And if I don't, then I lay off of it or don't trade it. So I created my own method to trade gaps. This is unique because I created it for myself for no other purpose than myself to use. I started teaching people then several years after I was trading it. And now I do teach it to people. And now I have people that have learned my system and are in the trading room with me every day. It is a method to trade gaps for day trading. However, it can be used for swing trading and longer term trading. We're going to talk about that in a little bit as well. But the whole focus is on one system, one strategy which is in gaps, and one method which is a rating system. So it's about finding one strategy that you can trade daily. One method that teaches you how to read the right direction, whether long or short, and one systematic approach and rating system that pinpoints the right stock to trade every day. Why do you need that? Because there are thousands of stocks that you could trade any day in the market, and most of them will not have playable setups in them or trade in the right direction or act correct. A lot of stocks also will go with the market, and that means you'd have to read the market correct on the day. And for example, on a day like today, I'm sure many people got tripped up in the market and thought the market was going to come in or be a short, and it, and it didn't. And the market was choppy today. Okay, So once again, you have to find a stock that you can trade on its own, irregardless of market direction. And that's the nice thing about gaps. Also, the system is focusing on one strategy to look at real support and resist numbers to assist you in making profitable trains and one time of the day which is in the morning for the setups to get profitable setups to maximize your risk to reward payout. Having one strategy to focus on keeps you focused. It keeps you focused during market hours and on track to make your goals. And again, I like to trade in the morning and be done. I'm very alert in the morning. My brain is functioning better in the morning. I'm an early morning person. But the thing is that if, if you sit at the, your computer from 9.30 to 4 o'clock all day, whether you're a morning person or an afternoon person or a nighttime person, that's a long time to be sitting looking at charts. The chances of you being that focused for all that entire period from 9.30 to 4 is slim to none. Okay, Your best chance of staying focused and taking perfect trades is blocking out a certain time frame. We're going to get the best setups and the most risk to reward and being very focused in that time frame, shutting the door to your office, closing yourself up, getting into your own quiet space, and being focused and disciplined on what you can do. I think everyone has the potential and the capability of doing that for a short time every day. But many people have struggled with doing that for hours and hours on end. They find it to be too stressful. And again, as the day goes on, you tend to be tired. But gaps really are a strategy for longevity and consistency because it's something that will always exist in the market. As long as there is a U.S. stock market, it will always have a closed period of time and therefore there will always be gaps. And like I said, you can take them for longer term, which we're going to talk about a little bit here. 
So the golden gap, which I created, is really one of the most specialized strategies in existence. I've not seen anything ever out as detailed as my system. And actually, you can't be too detailed. Someone said to me, boy, is that a lot of things? Yeah, yeah, it is. So what? Okay. I want to get it right as often as I can. If I could never be wrong, that would be my perfect world. The, the thing is that you can't look at too much. I want to be right. I'm trading my own money. I'm putting it at risk. I don't like to lose. Okay. You can't be too detailed. The Golden Gap looks at 26 points in a daily chart of a stock to determine its directional bias for the day, its targets for the day, and whether it will have a momentum move. 26 points is a lot of things to look at to determine a gap or any stock to trade. It is highly detailed and very specific. You cannot look at enough things in the market if you want to be right. You can't look at too many. The more you look at, the more you get it right, and the more often, and therefore, guess what? The more money you make. And it isn't about indicators. It's a price-based system. This is a price-based point rating system. It is focusing on the price. It is focused on price. Price of what? Price of the stock. Okay. My system, my Golden Gap 26-point rating system, has over a 70% positive expectancy rate for day trades. This is what I do. Now, you can do this for longer-term trades. I did not create it for that purpose, but since I've been trading now for six years and doing this, I realized that actually for the longer term for swing trades and core trades, it actually has an even higher expectancy rate. It's over 90%. It is very high. Now, if you take overnights, you cannot put in hard stops. I like to be to define my risk and trade with hard stops in the day trading. And day trading is not as risky as overnight trading because you can't put in stops. So I prefer to day trade, but you can use the system for longer term trades or overnights. And you know, it's really actually very good. Now I clipped a chart here of GLD. You can go back on YouTube. You're gonna have to go back a long time. Back in my videos, I have over 600 videos in YouTube. Back in the beginning of 2013, GLD had a bearish gap. It was a very nice gap. And then it had one the next day. I did some videos are still on YouTube. When this gap happened in GLD, okay, you can go back and look at it and watch the video. This was live. When this happened, April 2013, I said this chart would not be the same ever again for a very, 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 very long time because I understood the quality of this gap. Today, the stock is trading as broken $110. If you did this as a swing trade or a long-term trade, you were have been nowhere near your entry price, profitable since the day of the gap. Okay. And this also was a great day trade here and here. Okay. And there were other day trades in this chart, but I just want you to see here where this where this gap, okay, and the high 140s, or even if you got at the low here of the day, which is not ideal to be taking a trade at the end of the day. This fell all day. But even 140 something, that's even a $30 drop. Now, again, this is not something, this is not income-based generation. This is for long-term savings, retirement, long-term trades, because we're talking about April 2013. It is now the end of 2000. It's almost two years. I mean, we're at four more months, five more months away. It'll be in April 2015. Okay, so this is a year and a half of a move, but that's still incredible. Okay, and my call on this was absolutely spot on. The fact that that was a very good gap. Now, GIS has a question here. I'm just going to answer this question. And anybody else has questions too, you can ask me. And if we don't get to finish all the questions at the end here, just feel free uh, to email me at melissa at the stockswitch.com as well. This would fall into the pattern day trading rules. For, oh, for day trading, if you want to day trade, if you want to day trade, there are many, many different types of day trading brokerage accounts. I can refer you to people to check into. But there are brokerage accounts that allow you to day trade. They're called proprietary day trading firms. You can Google it online, or I can refer you to some people just where you could look into where you do not have to put up the 25000 Okay, There are many options out there for you if you want to be an active day trader. All right, You might have to take a test. You have to look into it. You have to contact the broker. I'm not a broker, but there are a lot of different options out there available for you. 
the, the normal everyday regular retail account probably that you're thinking about is really not what most uh, people are in at some of these big, big firms. Most people um, are doing probably trading at brokers that you've probably never heard of that have very uh, low commission rates uh, because people are trading volume with size and they're getting very good leverage. Okay, And at the retail firms, you only get four to one leverage and two to one overnight. But if anyone's interested in more specific information on that, you can email me. I think you need to contact the broker. But there are alternatives, and it's called a proprietary day trading account. You can Google it, and then you can just call a broker and talk to them about it. Even the retail brokers probably could answer questions about that as well, although I don't know if they would. Okay, so anyways, here getting back to this, this is an example here of a nice move in this, beautiful move in this, okay. And, you, and if you day traded with me, you could have day traded this and you could have taken this for the longer. I said, I said on this day, I said this is never going to be the same again. Now, you know, obviously at some point this might fix itself, but this is a long time coming in here. So the idea is to find the gap that will have the greatest momentum each day. You are doing the work when? You are writing everything down, going through the rating system, following everything, and figuring out everything before 930. You have a chance to be prepared. You're not making a quick decision on the fly. The prep work is done. Now, how many gaps are there a day? During earnings season, which is a very busy time for gaps, which we are in the thick of it now, there are three to five per day or more. During non-earnings season, three to five per week. Also, you can take swing trades with the system or overnights with the gaps, as I just showed you in the GLD. No trading, though, when there isn't any good gaps. You just take the day off. You can take as many highly rated gaps as set up on any given day using the system, more than one per day. So if you want to take three and all three rate good, you can take three trades. Four, five, you can take as many as you can manage yourself or that you can afford to take the risk and with the buying power in your account, okay? The, the system is designed to point you in the right direction for the top watches and the top picks. So the system ideally is something that you would start out pretty much the way that I have as a day trader. And then work yourself into becoming an overnight swing trader where you'd hold something for a few days. And then work yourself into to becoming a trader where you basically turn into an investor. Where you use gaps for investing for the longer term. You do the day trading, okay, which has a high success ratio, way more than 50% because 50 doesn't cut it as a day trader. You won't make a living doing that. You do the day trades. You chunk it out. You book the money. You have the money coming in and flowing in, whether you pay yourself weekly or daily or biweekly or monthly. And then you can do the swing trades in between as you're getting good at the system day trading. And you can do the overnights for the long, long, longer term for investing that could pay off for you to be doing them into retirement. So you're getting really good doing the day trades and you're getting uh, the experience in the practice. I find a lot of people want to flip and quit their day trading and go to swing trading or core trading and think it'd be easier than day trading. And But the fact is it's more risky. So it's really not any easier because you could you really lose a lot in, a, in an overnight if you don't know how to day trade. Day trading is something you have to learn. But if you can become a good day trader, guess what? You can do it all. All right. You can do it all. So people quit the day trading. Oops. And, and she's back. Okay. I, I think. Is. All right. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. Hang on one second, everyone. Do you know what? I have the Fios. We are getting, I'm in Manhattan, and we are getting a storm of storms. I think, it, I'm, I don't, I just try to stay with me here. Um, I actually didn't stop the recording, but I know it's the weather. It's the weather. It's, it's, we have winter has come like a lickety split. All right. I don't even know what I was saying. <laughs> All right, so winning is about the win ratio and profitability. It's about the win ratio and profitability. Now, let's talk about what an R is. It's one risk unit. Each trade you take should have the same risk unit or close to it. Now, what does that mean? That means if you have one loss and one trade where you make three risk units, then what would your results be? Two positive risk units. You'd still be up. 
So if you took one loss of $100 and you took one trade, you risked $100 but made $300, your result then after two trades would be what? $200. You would be positive. What if you took two losses and risked $100? I'm just using $100 now to make it easy. Two losses would be down $200. You take one trade, you make, you risk $100, you make $300. What is your result? You're still up and you're up 100 positive risk units, which is one. One good trade can cover the losses of one or two bad trades and still make you money on a bad trade or two. This is how it breaks down to be a profitable system with correct money management and utilizing the rating system to pick the correct stock to trade. So this is very, very important because someone had emailed me about this uh, a couple days ago. How does it work with the amount that you're risking? It has to be the same or close to the same. This makes a big difference. You can't risk a crazy amount of money on one trade if that one doesn't work and then you size yourself way lower than the one that goes on to work and be a home run, then you're not going to have the correct results. Your risk should be close to or equal to for every trade you take. This is very important. I think if you do this, the money management kind of just becomes very easy. A lot of people talk about discipline, discipline, discipline. You know, it's really about correct money management, but it has to do with how much you're risking on each trade. And it should be close to equal or similar to. And you have to know where you're getting out of the trade where the target is as well. Okay. Now, when do gaps set up? As I said earlier, between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Between 9.30 and 10. Now, how does the power of the gap work? I had started talking about this earlier, but the power of the gap works because big, big money makes gaps. Gaps are created with large institutional money. That is what makes the gap. The professional gaps that happen and play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. Therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correction, correct direction to play the gap. Why? Because not all gaps work in the direction of the gap. Some do and some reverse. But by having a formula to rate and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and conviction that the large institutional money is on your side, and then you just play it. You play it in the right direction once you determine that in the morning before 930. Gaps create a sense of urgency. That is why they work. Thus, an action is being forced by participants of the stock. This is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. Trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you're trading on the side of power money, and power money is the only way for you as an individual to make money as a day trader or even long-term investor. If you would buy a stock today and say, I'm just going to invest in this. I'm going to buy this stock right here, and I'm going to hold it for 30 years. I don't need to take that out of it. I don't care what it does. I'm going to look at it 30 years from now. If you expect that stock to move for you to make any money, let's pretend you bought a long, okay? You bought some stock. Let's pretend you bought Apple, okay? It's 30 years from now. You say, I'm an Apple. I'm buying Apple here. It's a nice bullish chart. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to hold it for 30 years. If you expect that stock to go anywhere for you to profit in 30 years without you managing it or knowing anything about the market or trading or investing or anything at all, the only way that's going to happen is with institutions buying that stock. The institutions would have to buy Apple and continue to buy it for 30 years on out. Otherwise, you wouldn't make any money on that, even if you had a great, great price in it, okay? So the system that I use is called the Golden Gap System. It's a name that I created for my system. It's a 26-point checklist to trade. The idea of it is to find a high probability of directional bias for the entire day in one stock or several stocks if we get more than one good pick. A stock or several stocks that will have a big move of the day. Early confirmation of the bias, whether long or short, between 9.30 and 10. And precise entries with follow through. And if you get precise entries, then you get a good risk reward. You can get good risk reward in trades if you know where to enter them correctly. Again, this is something many people don't know how to do. They don't know how to enter trades, right? And therefore, then their risk to reward is skewed. They cannot take a trade and have one good trade make up the losses for one or a few because they don't get the entry right or they wait too late or wait too long or wait too long for the confirmation. When I'm taking a stock and I'm getting in my gap, I have everything figured out in the morning before 9.30. When I get the first setup, that's my confirmation. That's all that I need. That's all that I need and I know what I'm looking for into the open when I take it and see it. So I'm not waiting for a secondary confirmation or an intraday trend to set up. I have it all figured out ahead of time. And that's the part of this that you learn from me, okay? The purpose of the rating system is to read the direction to trade the stock on the day, to analyze what institutional traders are doing with the stock. Are they buying it? Are they selling it? Are they shorting it? And to make entry decisions and exit decisions based on a small time frame, the one-minute chart, for example, which is what I like to trade. 
This is a very high degree of focus and accuracy. Using the daily chart to make the decision for the stock pick allows for accuracy in the direction. And using the one minute chart allows for good risk reward trades with accuracy. If you combine the daily analysis with the one minute setups, okay, which is what I do, that's how I combine it all to be a successful day trader. I'm accurately reading the numbers to do that. If you can do that, you put yourself in a course for success. And again, as a day trader longer term, that's what I was talking about before I lost connection. Uh, many people want to do overnights because they fail as a day trader. You're just taking more risk doing overnights. You're not making it any easier for yourself. I don't need to think about something for 10 hours to determine if it's good or not. All right. I can tell that in the gap. I can tell in the first couple of minutes of the day when it sets up and trades. All right. And really the way to chunk it out for the income profitability is, is day trading. So power of money makes the market. What are the advantages of the system? The advantages of the system are it focuses on institutional positioning. Charts are full of price patterns and historical data that is at your fingertips to study and use to make money. So my system is based on price, like I said, which is what? Technical analysis. I'm looking at the charts. I'm looking at the charts and determining what it's going to do before it does it. I'm predicting that. But I'm not doing it with some kind of magic indicator because no magic indicator will do it for you. You have to learn what to read and read the information yourself. It is 100% about comprehension. Comprehension 100%. The Golden Gap system looks at 26 different points on a daily chart in order to determine the direction a stock will make on the day. The system also educates traders on how to read resistance and support on an advanced level, which I find that many people think they know how to do until they take my class. Now, let's look at <clears throat> institutional money in the market. Again, someone had mentioned this gap here, which many people determined as quote-unquote novice, a made-up name that someone made up, which doesn't really have any meaning to quote-unquote institutions in the market. They determine what they're doing with something, okay? Not made-up names. But I made up a name, Golden Gap, to look at something to say, hmm, what is an institution doing with that? And the fact is that the market is along and it's higher. Why? Because it's being bought by institutions. It is being bought by institutions. And I wish you could say it's as simple as reading the gap even to see if it's red or green on the day. It's not even, you can't even, it's, that's even not as, you can't even do that. Okay? You cannot even do that. You don't know if it's going to be green or red on the day until after it does it. The, how you make money as a day trader is you have to rate the gap in the morning before 9.30 to know what it's going to do to take the trade to get in it. Oh, I just lost connection again. I'm trying to get back in. Hotcom okay. is Hotcom is booting me now. I'm wondering if it's not the internet. I'm wondering if it's Hotcom. I I don't know, and I'm not on the internet. No one, yeah, I'm okay. No one else has lost connection, but. I know, but remember, I don't have the Windows updates. I do not have. It says, Hotcom clients encounter a problem and needs to close. We're sorry for your inconvenience. Trying to get back in. I'm to um, Kathy about that because if I had lost her, there were no more XP updates. Right. I, 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 I do need to reach out to Kathy with this. I'm trying to get in, Karen. I'm. I please see if everyone stays and tell them that I'm. I will tape it. I will send it, but try to see if they'll stay. I hope that Kevin lets me. Let's me stay okay. over if I can get back in. I, I'm trying to get in. I, I don't want to click okay. on something else if it's the internet right. to test it. Okay, I'll type that into everybody and I'll have Kevin too, okay? Just see if they'll wait. I'm trying to reconnect. Here, hold on. I think I can get back. Are you still there? I think I can get back. Okay. No, okay. it's the room. Right. It's the room. It's Hotcom. The connection to the address you're requesting is a firewall, it says. Here, I'm back. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, I'm back again. I hope everybody's still there. 
So I'm really sorry about this, except for the fact that I am taping it. <laughs> the tape is going to have a couple, a couple, a couple breaks in it. Is everybody there? Okay, I'm, I'm getting the PowerPoint back up. I haven't lost my train of thought. Hopefully Kevin can let me stay here a few minutes, a few minutes the other later, or we can just go back to my room. Uh, I was talking about institutional money. I was talking about institutional money in the market that is buying this market. This is why it is a little bit, you know, a little bit complex unless you really know what you're looking for in reference to the gap because of the fact that you can't look at something like this and say, oh, you know, it's red here. Therefore, it's a short. It's just not that easy. If it was, then everybody would be able to know what to do with something on a trend, okay? Now, one of the advantages I was started to talk about here before I lost the power was the advantages of the system is on November 6th, this was the day back early this month, I had a list of 18 gaps. Now, I said earlier there's a lot of gaps in earning season. It's earning season. I said three to five a day. There's actually a lot more in earnings season. There were 18 gaps on this day. It was There's a plethora of gaps. I picked the best two that worked, WWW and GNW. Now, I'm going to show these trades in a minute. Of the 18 on my list, eight ended up working that you could have traded for profit. So there were 18 gaps. Eight worked that you could have traded to make money in. That's still a good amount. But guess what? That's less than 50% of them worked. 10 failed to work at all to trade. That's why you need a system to pick the correct stocks to trade. Because 10 didn't work at all. 8 worked. But guess what? The two best ones were the ones that I picked to work. Okay? They had huge moves, the largest moves, the fastest moves, with good setups and a quality risk reward. And it's the highly profitable trades that can really make trading worthwhile. It's about picking the good ones. So I thought this day was a good example to go over because even I was astounded. You know, every once in a while, I even surprised myself. I was able to pick out the best two gaps that day, and there was 18. 18, okay? And if you did something else and you didn't get the trains, then you missed them. And you didn't get the money. Or you might have even lost. Here was one of the gaps that didn't work. This was the Z. I already showed you this chart. This didn't work. It failed in the day. There was no way you would have gone long this. It was gapping down. There was no way to determine this was even going to happen or open here. It wasn't the right pick. There's nothing to do with this. The other gap was click. This is one of the ones that I didn't do and didn't work. Okay, do you see that this chart actually gapped down? The stock closed up here at $14.40, gapped down here to $13. Very whippy, very crazy. Again, this is not something you would have ever looked to buy. You would have looked to short it, and it didn't work as a short. And you would have never gone long this, okay? So this I didn't do, and it didn't work. It's about focusing on the good ones. Why? Because you only need one. But like I said, in earnings season, sometimes you can get multiple ones, and then you just make more money on the day. So let's talk about how to put the gap rating system to work for the profits. There are pieces of the puzzle. The pieces of the puzzle is the rating system. You're looking for the time of the day. You're looking for the entry. You're looking for the maximum risk reward you can get, which means you have to size yourself correctly by taking the entry, putting the stop in, taking the right size, not too much, not too little, just right, and then money manage yourself to get out with profit. Here was one of the gaps that day that I picked out of the 18 of the two that I looked at that worked. This was WWW. It was a short. So this set up very quickly. Nice trade, open rally. Short was here, drop. This is a gimongous move for this stock to make, and it made it very quickly. In this case here, you would be all out of this trade in less than 10 minutes. Do trades set up like that in gap tradings? Yes, they do. I'm not saying you'd be out of every trade in 10 minutes, but again, remember, day trading is income generation. You're up a certain amount of money. You're not going to give that back. Could this have gone to a bigger target than 15? Broke 15, actually. Sure, it could have. Would it have been right to stay in that pass then? No. Why? Set up this move more than a dollar. Entry was here and you're out. If you're waiting for after 10 o'clock, waiting for an intraday trend, waiting for something else to do, you miss this beautiful trade. And by the way, if it sets up again, you could just retake it. You can always just retake it. Now let's go back where the entry was. Price of the entry for this, this is a short. It is a gap. It is a short. You would short this stock at $16.10. Number of share size is 5,000. This is an advanced risk of $750.
exit and went to the target. Actually broke 15, depending where you get out, you might have got hit out in the 90s. Actually hit on through 90 at one point. But if you get out at the target and have an order to fill you out there, you made $5,500 on this trade. Risk to reward is 7.3. What are you looking for in every trade? Per the system, three. Will you get trades that work more than three? Yes. So let's just take a look at this. This one gap trade, would have, you could have lost in seven other trades in the week and not been down any money. Now, first of all, if you take seven trades and lose, you're not a very good trader. But, but you could have. You could have done this trade perfectly, made seven R's plus, and taken seven stinky trades if you were off your rocker the next day and not lost and been down any money for the week. The idea is for you to take seven good trades after this, though, and take this nice money and continue to profit the rest of the week. Okay, But a very nice trade. This is how finding the quality ones can pay you, pay you profit, pay for your commission costs, pay for your platform, pay for the ones that don't work out. Now, the next one I just talked about here was GNW. Another beautiful gap, the day that there was 18 to look at, and I narrowed it down to the two top picks. Entering this was, again, quickly, quickly, quickly out of the gate. Here, boom, drop. Again, another one that went to the target very quickly. If you look to do this again, you could have taken another trade in it, but the move, the momentum move happens into the morning. This is where it's being crushed. It's being clobbered. It's being sold off and shorted. And you can see the gap down from the night before it closed up here at 14 and open the next day down here to rent 10 something. Okay. This is again, it closed at one price the one day, opened at a different price the next day. Price of the entry is $9.99. Risk, again, you're risking, if you're an advanced trader, you're risking close to or similar to every trade the same. $700 risk would be 2,000 shares. This varies. So you see the one, you could take 5,000. Risk is 750. The other one, you can take 5,000. You can only take 2,000 because the stop was bigger. Same risk, though, for dollars and cents. This is what you, has to be similar, not the uh, position sizing. Because if you had taken 5,000 shares of this, your risk would have been way oversized. And if it wouldn't have worked, it would have taken up too much of a loss. Do you see? So the position size will vary depending on the stop, where the entry is and the stop placement. Exits 880. Beautiful trade. Dropped in the reversal time. Profits almost $2,400. This is a quality trade. 3.4. And the stop was a little big for this stock. Still a 3.4 hour trade. Nice trade in here. Good sizing. And it continued. It continued as a swing trade the next day. You could have actually held it overnight. Went down, broke $8, came all the way down almost to 7 and you could have held it overnight after the scam, and you could have shorted as a day trade the next day. Again, the follow through and expectancy here. This was a uh, gap that worked as a day trade for two days in a row. Okay? Or you could have done it as a swing trade. So you see there the follow through of the system. Now, any questions about GNW or the WWW trades? Since I had a little feck up in there, thank you for staying everyone through the internet connection issues. Anyone have any questions about these two trades? Well, in order to get these kind of trades in the market, you really, really need a plan of action. And for me, it's my rating system. You can ask me questions. Go ahead, plop them in the room. Ask yourself, we're getting into the end of the calendar year. I, I, I personally do this. I look back at my year. I, I actually started doing this in September to see what I did this year, what I think I'm capable of doing to close out the year, and what I think I'm capable of doing in 2015. You have to have financial goals for yourself. And every year, you know, me personally, every year that I trade, I, I, I increase my goals for myself. I want to continue to do well and make more money. So you're looking at your financial goals, and if you're trading now and you're either losing or not making as much as you want to, you have to reevaluate. It's a good time of the year to do this. Don't wait till January and March to do it. Three months and a third of the year is over. You want to start doing this now at the end of this calendar year. If you did not reach your goals for this year, do some soul searching. Ask yourself why. Maybe you need to do some evaluation for 2015. What is your plan of action to achieve those financial goals? Once you set the financial goals, how are you going to do it? I backtrack and look to see how much do I have to risk if I want to make this much money? How much do I have to risk based on this average of the trades working? How much do I have to risk in this and where do I need to get out? And this is how you're determining your goals for 2015. 
and you need a plan of action. For me, it's my system. For many of the people that uh, trade with me, the people that have I've taught, it's my system. It's basically a system that you can use to day trade, and you take the setups and you rate the gaps, and this is your trading plan. You determine how much you're risking based on the amount of money that you have, and that's how you'll determine it. It's about how, when, and when. How do you make money in the market? Trade a strategy that's profitable. Golden gaps are very profitable. They're professional gaps, and they're highly profitable strategy to trade because they create large momentum. What stocks should you train? Stocks the gap and rate 20 points or more. So the system is 26 points, but you don't have to get a perfect score. It's designed to get 20 or more, and you trade the gap in the direction of the gap. When do you trade them? Early in the morning, like the trades I showed you on the open when they set up and trigger. And, and whether you hold some of them overnight for the follow-through continuation or not is up to you. It, when you day trade, you are looking to chunk it out. You're not looking for some huge home run trade that's going to pay you for like the last five years of losses you've ever had doing uh, classes and trading, something that didn't work in the market. The idea of trading is to chunk it out. Once you start doing something that's a system that's successful, you will set a realistic goal for yourself. Over time, as you do well, you will reevaluate it and increase your goals and so on and so forth over time so you can get to the point where you're making the money that you want to make. $400 a day is very realistic for a day trader to make. That's not something that you'd have to have some crazy, crazy, crazy kind of money in the trading account to make. And that ends up equating to $2,000 a week. $2,000 a week equates to $104,000 a year, give or take holidays. And that is an annual income. $400 a day is not unrealistic once you break it down. What I found is that people take too many losses and too many days during the month. And even then, the days that they make $400, they have too many losses in between that need to cover the ones. And then the days where the $400 profit days uh, are profitable, they got out too soon and they could have made $1,200, okay? Because they got out too soon because they were too scared because they might have taken a loss the day before. You have to have a strategic plan of action for what you're doing for your trading. And if you don't, you will be back and forth willy-nilly and your results will reflect that in your in your account, actually. Trading for an annual income means consistently doing the same strategy and system over and over and over and over and over and doing it well, doing it well. Be realistic with yourself. Have these beautiful, fabulous goals in your head and be realistic at the same time. I know this is something that it's challenging for people to achieve, but if you're in balance with yourself, and you are, are in balance with where you're at, knowing where you're headed, you'll get there. You will get there. The problem is that many people are off balance with their trade. Most people just are not doing a strategy that is profitable at all, and they'll waste a lot of time with it, okay? They also think that they know how to trade and will make excuses for why it's not working out, but they really just don't know how to trade. And they've been trying at it and going at it for years. I understand it's hard to sometimes take a step back and say, oh my gosh, I really probably don't know how to trade. I know it's hard to, to look at yourself in the mirror and say that if you spend a lot of money in the market or in classes, but at some point you have to take a step back and reevaluate whether or not what you're doing is working and if you really, really, really want to learn. You could be doing this for a long time and finally admit to yourself that you don't know what you're doing and still turn it around. You're, it's never too late to turn it around. I mean, it's absolutely never too late to turn it around. I have taught young people. I have taught older people. I've taught people all over the globe. You can always turn your circumstances and situation around. You have to be realistic with the amount of money that you have with according to your risk. And I can help you assess that. And you have to learn how to do it as well. But following me actually helps people get there faster. Learning from me taking the class helps people make huge strides in figuring things out and putting the pieces of the puzzle together that work. Some people are have an overall general structure of the market, but they're missing a couple pieces. And those pieces are the ones that can put it all together. So if you don't have those, you're not going to make it. I wish I could say training is one of those things where if you know a little bit, you can make it. You can't. If you know a little bit, you're going to lose. If you know a little bit more than a little bit, you're probably still going to lose. If you're right on the edge and you're break even, you're still not making it. In order to be profitable as a trader, you got to know as much as you can. More. Keep learning. Keep doing it. You have to be great. You have to be terrific. You have to be fabulous. You really have to know what you're doing. A lot of people want to trade the market. And a lot of people are going at it every day and every day. It is possible. It is something that you can turn around if you're not profitable, but you have to learn a strategy that works. And be realistic with your goals. Okay? 100% realistic. Making money takes extreme focus, and if you're at the point where you're losing, then your focus needs to get off the money 
and onto what you're doing with the strategy. And by the way, you can never fault yourself for focusing on the strategy. If you are still, if you are profitable in doing this, you still should be focusing on the strategy. Don't focus on the money. I know it's hard to say because everyone wants that money so badly, but the money will come if you're focused on the right thing in the market, which is what? Using a system and a checklist. It is a very professional way to trade. I took a trade last week uh, that did not follow through. I managed that trade as good as any trade I've ever managed in my life. In my life. And I did an ad in it and I risked more than one R because I was in love with the gap. It did not follow through. I got out of it with a two penny loss and almost break even and I was in it for a long time. I gave it a chance to go and I managed it extremely well and it just didn't want to sell off on the day and I wasn't going to force it to. And my goal was to get out of it then break even once I realized I wasn't going to get the follow through. Now that can happen sometimes, but I managed it extremely well to get out with a two penny loss in something that I had a gimongous size in. And if it had gone on to work, I would have had probably the biggest day I ever had this year. I'm still watching that stock, okay? You have got to focus on the right information in the chart. Some will work, some will not, but way more should work than don't. Way, way more than you think, way more than 50%. And in the 70% profitability, which trains the go to work out to be the number of R's that correct that you need to be profitable, they will cover the ones that don't work and then pay your expenses to trade so that you can pay yourself to profit. So the class I teach is called the Golden Gap Course. It teaches the system and how to trade gaps. The course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. The course also teaches you what direction to trade the stock on the day. It teaches chart analysis and technical analysis on a very advanced level. The purpose is to get the right pick each day to trade. The purpose is to have focus each day using the system on what to trade and in what direction to trade it. The system helps you stay consistent in your trading results for profit. It's about consistency. And even if you want to do overnights or longer term trades, you have to be consistent in the reason that you're taking the trade. Why are you taking it? Where's the targets? You still have to know what you're going with it. So. If you want to take my class, I'm teaching it this weekend. I teach my system. And again, I trade myself and I also mentor people to stay on track towards their goal of consistent profits. You can be successful in the market if you learn a great strategy. You can turn your training around if you're losing and want to start making money. It is never too late for you to do it, but you have to get off what is ever in your head Stop focusing on the money and focus on the learning and the information that's in the charts and specifically the strategy itself. And if you don't have conviction in what you're doing right now, you've got to gain a strategy, uh, gain conviction in a strategy that you're doing, that you have conviction in that you can do, that you can just take. A lot of times I take a trade, it's like I attack it. It's like I attack it when I'm taking the trade and then I get to stop it. That's how, that's how much I am so can't wait to get in that trade. I just pounce on it, all right? So maybe 2015 is your year. Maybe maybe 2015 is your year for to empower yourself to trade the market. And maybe my class, if anything I said resonated with you today, is it? The class is a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and place stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free. The class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take the class. It is an online class. All you need is a computer. Okay, you can sign into the room and listen to the class on a computer. The class is this weekend, November 22nd and 23rd, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost of the class is $29.99. I am doing a special here that I ran last week. I had so many people email me about this. I thought I would offer this for the webinar today for the holidays. It is called the Holiday Package Special, and I have, a, I have people already signed up for this. So if you really want to do the class this weekend, my suggestion is to register sooner rather than later because I'm not going to take 50 people in a class. It's too much for me. We'd be here till midnight. The special includes the Golden Gap course, the Trends course. It's another class I teach. November and December in the live trading room. November and December swing trade letter. And the Wealth Manifestation class for free, which is December 1st. The total package is $34.99. This is only $500 more than the normal cost of the GAP class. So it is a savings of $15.96. This is the largest special I've ever offered anyone in two years. The most savings. And, uh, you know, to be in the room and trade with me and take all these classes for this price is a huge savings. And I, I have a lot of people signed up for it already. So if you want to do this, 
email me and I will send you the paperwork to sign up. The wealth manifestation class, I'll tell you a little bit about this, is December 1st. This is, involves money, talking about money, how your mind works, and your physical health and body and stress levels, and how it plays a part of your trading. This class is normally $399. I'm offering it free with the holiday special, and it is December 1st. The trends class is not going to be till January, but if you sign up for the special, you will be doing it in January for free. I do offer free retakes on all of my classes, so you can retake this class for free once you sign up for it as well. That's normally $999, so that saves $1,000. Okay. And if you're interested in a trading room trial, you can email me as well. You can trial the room for a few days this week. If you want, email me at melissathestockswish.com. And you can sit in on the room this week and watch the trades. If you're new to GAFs, my suggestion is you come into the room and you just watch me and listen. And you can see if this is something that you want to learn from me. Thanks, everybody, for coming. I, I apologize for the two hiccups and files, but we were able to actually complete the presentation. Does anyone have any questions for me about anything? Does anyone want me to bring up the market? We can go over to my training room. I can talk about the market if anyone has questions about the market. If you don't, I don't have to talk about the market. I know Kevin and Karen were able to stay a little bit after tonight. I appreciate that. Does anyone have any questions for me here? Here's my email. So glad the internet came back on quickly. Any questions from anyone that came today? Any specific questions about any of the trains? Anything about gaps? Had a few questions earlier and then unfortunately I got booted and had to re-sign back in. I didn't, I think I missed some of them. Egg salad is asking about Target. I can take a look at that quickly. Anybody else want to look at anything else besides Target? Only egg salad? Why don't we do this? Kevin and Karen can boop everybody over to my live room and I can look at the I can look at Target or anybody else that wants me to look at anything else. Karen, can you heliport everybody over to my room, including me? And I'll look at the Target chart and bring up my charts for egg salad. That's a cute name, by the way. <laughs> All right, I did tape the webinar. There's no so the webinar will be on YouTube and I'm gonna look at egg salads trade and Kevin and Karen are gonna send everybody over my room and we'll look at the market too then. Okay, we'll do that, Kevin. All right, I'll in one second, everybody. <laughs>